Uh, as people that you work with, you know, we talk a lot about the career journey. Yeah. How is that for, for somebody that maybe is an entrepreneur that goes, maybe the, fa the, the career failed as an entrepreneur, or their business that they started failed, and they have to go back into that workforce. I, I know some people get stuck into that, well, but I'm an entrepreneur, I can't go back and work for somebody. And I know we talked about this when we, when we first chatted about this, that, that there's something that happens when you actually go back and work for somebody that you can even level up even more than being an entrepreneur. And, and the journey of an entrepreneur isn't always just working for yourself. Uh, I know we've, we've both experienced different, uh, 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 a different journey, but you know, at different points of our career, we... What was that job know, that you worked that you... Uh, I worked at In-N-Out Burger. Yeah, 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 all right, so really, you worked at In-N-Out Burger, okay. Uh, Philip over there, yeah. uh, and that was after running my own company, having success in my life, making multiple six-figure income, and I went back to working for $10 an hour, and we'll break this down, I mean, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I lied for like the first three weeks that I had a BMW that was in the shop, and I was like, yeah, yeah, my, my BMW was in the shop. I had this, this, this story in my head that I gotta be something better, and it was really difficult for me to, to clean that slate, and it literally happened, I was, I was at it enough for the night, I cheated on my dad. Uh, but I saw the table where it like pivoted my mindset, and I, like all of a sudden every story I had built up, cleared. And so for me, you know, like, I, I was able to regain that path, and it was very difficult, but there's, I know that was, my identity was I'm an entrepreneur, yeah. and I lost that identity. And so I, I, I understand that I, I, I got fat, I, I struggled with health, and I struggled, I didn't talk to my parents, I didn't talk to my family for, for multiple years, because it was like, I lost that identity, and I'm flipping burgers, you know, and well, actually I was going to Thank you. Hey, but you work for a high performance yeah. burger company, right? Yeah. So again, so Billy's talking about that. Yeah. I was, I was oh, I was at the in and out, and oh man, the BMW in the shop, right? So you asked me, again, this is where coaching comes in. What did you learn? You learned how to work at a high performance burger company that has a limited menu in food, right? We're talking food out here in Central Valley today. So they have what? Do they have chicken? No, is, is the daughter of the company a billionaire? Nope. She's like one of the youngest billionaires in, in California or the US, right? The menu in total. 13 Including lettuce, I, tomato, okay. spread, ketchup. And, and her family is still there. So, so then you look at success, and she's doing extremely well, but her family built this thing, and then sometimes luck takes off. Because there are a lot of hamburger places out there that have limited menu, and for whatever reason, they're not a billionaire. Yeah, they maybe are lucky to be a hundred thousandaire, right? But they're happy. They show up every day, they, they serve the community, they serve the people that love their burger. So, so again, don't let the money, don't let the, the external stuff, you learn about systems, you learn about high performance, you learn about a great culture. You know, they treat their managers extremely well. Uh, their managers can have, you know, six figure salaries, right? And, and uh, I think nice car they give them. And so again, it's a culture, like they really take care of their people for flipping a hamburger, right? So there's a lot of good if that's the right culture for you and you stay for a year, two, five, ten, you can build a very nice life at In-N-Out Hamburger. You know, and, and when you were working for, you know, 10, 12 bucks an hour, when I started as a paramedic in San Diego, I made 12 20 an hour as a paramedic. Saving your life, you can make more at In-N-Out Burger <laughs> than being a paramedic, okay? So, so, again, it's about choice. I made the choice to work as a paramedic. I made the choice to actually take, I was an EMT in, in the Bay Area, and I went down to San Diego, and I made $8 less an hour. That was a choice, okay? So, these are choices we make. Sometimes things happen, and again, it's to teach us about eating humble pie, get rid of the ego, get rid of all, all the noise, all the junk, and who are you, right? That forced you to probably go deep. 100%, yeah. And right. then you get real with yourself, <laughs> you get real with your finances, and you start thinking too about one day when you have success, how do you use money?